We have continuing coverage tonight about concerns over mold at McDill. It caught the attention of the Secretary of the U.S. Air Force. She made a personal visit to McDill today to listen to families who say mold, rats, and insects inside of base housing is making them sick. The Secretary toured homes on base after canceling a visit earlier this week. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser tells us those families are happy that she saw for herself what they're living in. Very traumatic. Amy Norquist never asked to be the face of questionable housing conditions on some of America's military bases. It's insane to me. But there she was recently in front of Congress and again this morning meeting face to face with the Secretary of the U.S. Air Force at McDill Air Force Base. I would hope that it's a step in the right direction. I mean, it's a big deal. Norquist has long contended that mold inside their on-base housing sickened her children, especially her daughter, Allie. Um, they've done allergy testing. She's been to the pulmonologist multiple times. She was given an inhaler for asthma. So today, Norquist and others who've had similar issues got a visit from the Secretary of the Air Force, Heather Wilson, a listening session that lasted about two hours. They found 23 types of mold in our home at levels unfit for occupancy. It's been a similar story for Tracy Lenz and her children. Mold, illness, a lack of adequate resolution, she says, from the private landlord and management company that handles McDill's military housing. Everyone in the home has had just ongoing breathing issues. Lenz says she's also glad the secretary came to see the conditions for herself. Wilson, she says, insisted on seeing homes that were not on a prepared visit list. In fact, in the second listening session, she did ask that all of the command get up and leave out of the session so that the families could speak freely, and that was very nice. The problems aren't just with McDill, and in fact, they aren't just with the Air Force. Different bases, different branches of the armed service have seen similar problems. Mold, insects, even rat infestation. The issue getting attention from politicians who call it shameful, now pushing for a tenant bill of rights to give military families recourse without fear of repercussion. You know, there's a lot of awareness that's been raised and and people are starting to take this seriously and, and hopefully this is a step in the right direction. I wanna make sure that the generations that come behind us can feel like every base is home and it's safe. It's somewhere they can be proud to go home to. It may not be glorious mansions, but it definitely will be functional and it will be safe. Yeah, and there's still a lot of questions. The families we spoke to say their question is, who is going to be responsible for any long-term medical issues? I also spoke with the property management company today because there are a lot of questions revolving around what you see right here. Mushrooms in bathrooms, mold as you saw in homes. The head of the company says that they have hired environmental specialists, two of those. They do go in on McDill and they check the work of the contractors they hire to come in and get rid of that mold. So they have those in place right now. I did ask if they're going to let future tenants know if there's been mold remediation in that home before they even move in. And he says if they're not already doing it, it's a great idea and something that they are going to implement.